Welcome to this redux of Anomalies at a Site in Von Common. I featured these a couple of years ago and I thought I'd do a refresh on these anomalies. A couple of days ago I featured anomalies at a site north of Fontana and we had a look at this site towards the end of the video and I indicated I'll be re-upscaling these images. Just a quick note before we get started, I've recreated my account on X, so you can go over and follow me there as well. I'll include the link to my X account in the video description below. The photograph in which I found these is called Rocky Terrain Sample. The MRO acquired this photograph on the 27th of March 2011 at a nice high resolution of 25 centimeters per pixel and as usual I'm showing you images cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file and there's a look at a crop from the low res black and white photograph and the anomalies I'll be showing you are some of these larger white objects that litter this terrain so the site I featured a couple of days ago is located over there to the left and the site with its anomalies we'll be looking at now is located right there at roughly 63 degrees 2 minutes south, 59 degrees 31 minutes west. And as always I've included a scale indicator to give you an approximate idea of how large these objects are. So let's zoom in on those two over there. So for reference we've got 25 there so that's 12. This object over here to the left is about 12 to 13 meters in length. Check out the small disk there. That's about 4 meters in diameter. And next to it we've got this circular slot same diameter as this disc what could that be it's incredible and in this strange feature over here check out the strange protrusion and a slot in this piece to the right right let's have a look at the object over there so that there's about 14 to 15 meters across and it's got a curious rectangular object parallel with this one side right there in the center of this side that to me looks very very strange almost as if it's been placed there it looks like a different type of material as well a little rougher in texture to got the smaller blocks we are to the left and we'll see lots of blocks in this photograph and then this feature that there is about 10 meters to 8 meters in length a smaller rectangular part on top and this piece of here that seems to ramp up of very very out of place as well the two are arranged parallel with this one side wonder what that could be some type of uh, structure or art piece it's also got this strange circular part on the top, very thin as well. Right, let's have a look at the item over there, about 7 to 8 meters in length, but the smaller usual protrusion or object on the top looks like we have a rectangular carved out area in it as well to get the 90 degree angle there 
This is also interesting. Get these pieces. They look highly sculpted. This piece is lying on a rectangular block. Right, let's have a look at the long, narrow, monolithic type piece of here. I'd say that there is about 12 meters in length. Check out the uniform thickness. Nice right angles to it. And then a rather weird protrusion on the one side. Check at the shadow it costs. So it's got a very sharp peak to it. Right, this piece, that there is about 4 meters in size. And it's got a smaller protrusion or part right there in its center. And we've seen this all over Mars. This pattern is repeated over and over again. Where we have smaller protrusions or objects in the centers of larger pieces. Right, check out these blocks. So it's got a neat hole in it and something inside of that hole. Alright, let's have a look at this one. I'd say this piece is about 12 to 13 meters in length. And per usual, it has a small protrusion or part on the top, right there in its center. Let's have a look at this piece. Now the block highly eroded smaller part on the top it seems to ramp up as well this looks very odd as well check out the round disc shape there these pieces on top Look as if they're made of a different type of material. That's why I speculate these may have been placed there. Pure speculation on my part, folks. Right, let's have a look at the block to the left. A strange slot on the one side and this part on the inside let's zoom in on those items so this piece is about 10 by 10 meters in size neat right angle smaller parts on the top over there as well it's almost like boulder stacking that we get at ancient sites here on earth let's have a look at that block check that out also highly eroded but neat right angles to it also some interesting odds and ends nearby. Check out the rectangular part sticking off this one side. 90 degree angles there. And then it's got these carved out parts to it. Now the slab or block sticking out here. The rest covered in sand and dust. 
of a huge piece sticking out there. Nice straight edges, right angles. It's got like a rounded finish to it. Very smooth. Another fragment there. Neat right angles. And then these odd pieces seem to be removed from the block. Very jagged edge. But this is huge, it's about 10 meters in length. So with most of these you can hop on top and jog to the other side. Alright, let's have a look at this fragment over here. It's about 10 by 12 meters in size. It's got a right angle there and then this really odd shape to the bottom right. It to me looks very unusual as well. Let's have a look at the object to the right. It's about seven to eight meters across. Neat right angles to this part on top. And this seems to be hollowed out on the right hand side. So I have a very interesting piece here to the right. right let's have a look at that part. It seems to have holes in it. It's about six meters in length. And then either two holes or a larger hole with these two similar narrow parts parallel to one another covering that hole. Interesting. Right, let's have a look at these odds and ends. This sticks out like a sore finger. carved out piece by the looks of it speculating of course interesting parts scattered about here something rather odd inside that carved out area there on if this piece fits in there but how does that happen in nature this is a huge piece it's about six to eight meters long so how does that part crack and then move away from this larger piece in such a nice geometric shape Let's have a look at this. Looks like bent up metal. Like sheet metal. Neat hole there in the surface. Rather odd triangular shape here as well. The piece is like triangular on the one side and then this part bends away so it looks like thin sheet metal photographed from above right let's have a look at this item it's got a strange shell shape to it very symmetrical it seems to have like a round base 
that it's on top of. Right, let's zoom down to the southern edge of our Gaia Planitia. So we have Von Kormen and Avia folks. And the site we're looking at is located over there, about 40 or 30 kilometers north of Von Kormen. So this is what the images looked like when I upscaled them years ago using Photo Zoom Pro 7. You can see they're very, very similar to these new upscaled images. They're just a lot sharper. So the upscaling software I use obviously upscales the size and then it sharpens the images. It doesn't physically manipulate the photograph and change the shape of these artifacts. It merely cleans up the photograph, removes compression and sharpens the edges. So let's have a look at the new upscaled images. As you can see the shape, the size, the layout, everything is the same. The compression and artifacts in the photograph have just been removed and the images are sharpened. I'll highly appreciate it if you go over and follow me on my X profile as well. I look forward to reading your comments and opinions as to what these might be. Take care everybody, as always, thanks for watching.